Gunfire on a school campus. People just walking on the track forced to dodge bullets. One person hit in the leg. That shooting happened this morning, Skyline High School. Damon Fernandez explains this is an area coping with murder and violence. It was right back here on this high school track where the latest shooting in Buckner Terrace happened. Neighbors say they hope this crime isn't a sign of what they can expect throughout the summer. It's another day and police are busy investigating more bullets in Buckner Terrace. I was just up this morning watching, well, drinking some coffee and I heard them gunshots out here. Terrence Blassingame's family lives across the street from Skyline High School's track. It's where investigators say a group of early morning walkers were approached by an unidentified woman with a gun Thursday morning. She fired shots, injuring a former Dallas ISD educator. You know, it's just scary, that's it. Neighbors are still on edge knowing Buckner Terrace has been a hot spot for murders, shootings, assaults, and other violent crimes over the past two months. Crimes that have families near Thurman Smith packing up and moving out right now. There's something need to be done about it, you know. Innocent people getting shot, it shouldn't be like that. The spike in violence in this area of Buckner Terrace has the Dallas Police Southeast Patrol launching a summer crime initiative. Over the next month, police resources are saturating the area, focusing on deterring and reducing violent offenses. Every day before I go to work at 6, I leave at 5, I see police cops rolling. They, they stay rolling, it's good. Good for now. Investigators say the victim from Thursday morning shooting at Skyline's track is nursing a leg injury. The woman who allegedly shot her is now under arrest after running into the neighborhood nearby. Residents say they'll remain on high alert. Don't nobody want to see this all summer long. It's bad. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News. It's a